Jesus Christ, Tommy. You're confessing to a shootout in a church. And I ain't even through the hard stuff yet. You know, I could take you in right now, put your buying bars, and tell you all in gray. Maybe. If you think you can make any of it stick. But then you'd never know about Morello. Hey, fella. What you having? Two lunch specials, please. And more coffee. You know what? Let's bring the whole pot. All right, we've come this far together. What kind of heat did you get from the church? It's a strange thing. Nothing really came of it all. Always figured Celieri paid off someone somewhere because it wasn't even in the papers. We just had to lay low for seven, eight months. The cops kept showing up at the bar just to remind us they were watching. And Frank caught wind that Morello was helping Galati get reelected, hoping he'd go after the Don. We recovered some account books from Morello's offices. 33 was a pretty good year for him. Bastard knew we were bleeding out before we did. While we were busy keeping our heads down, he started moving in on our rackets. Quiet at first, a few trucks go missing. Uh, top burner has one too many highballs, drives off a bridge. One of our regular pickups suddenly closes up shop, moves upstate. You need it and catch on. Not me. I think maybe Polly smelled something. But even with the cops looking like we were still making good money. And with the Dom worried about keeping the heat off, we didn't have much to do except drink, have a few laughs. Every time I went into Celieri's, there was Sarah. So it was a good year. Until Frank. A Coletti, a dance consigliere. Yeah, that's right. He set me straight. He set us all straight. Yeah, we got into a little scrap last night. It's no big deal. I don't care about the bar fight, Tom. I care how it looks when you walk into a club and buy everyone around. Uh, we gotta do something with that, though. Then blow it at the track on Sunday. Or take a dame to a show. Or invest it, for Christ's sake. <laughs> you want me to become one of those Wall Street boys? <laughs> don't sass me, Tommy. I'm trying to teach you the ropes so you don't get strangled by them. You ever have a dog, Tom? Sure. A little mutt when I was a kid. When I was eight or nine, before I came over from the Sicily, I had this beautiful, skinny Cherneco de Letna. Like a little greyhound. Fastest dog you've ever seen. That's how I met the Don. We started setting up races together, betting on her with coins and rifle shells. There wasn't another dog that could catch her. She never lost. Until the day she did. We were only out of pocket knife, but I never saw the Don so angry. She got old on you? No. Pregnant. She went into heat, got out of the yard, and every dog in town had a turn. You're like that dog, Tommy. Every time you flash your money around, you're a bitch in heat. And everyone in that club is now looking to fuck you. And once you get fucked, you're no good to us. Do you understand? Uh, you made your point. Because you need to think about your career here. Look, police at his ceiling. He's the guy we want in a tussle, but he's not smart enough to run anything. Sam is loyal, but he has no vision. But you, Tommy, you could run this town someday. Well, I appreciate that, Frank. So, uh, what happened to the dog? The Don tried to drown her. I broke his nose. You can let me off here. Give Sarah my best, Tommy.
Back then, everything went through Frank. The plans, the orders, the money. You could get the call day or night. Ah, Tommy. Frank says to wait for him in the garage out in the back, eh? got the job, I think. Thanks, Luigi. Sarah's cooking. She's bringing something over. Is this rain? <laughs> She's a good girl. I'll see you tomorrow, Luigi. Yeah, sure. Back in the day, when the boss was still with that phone, we got called out to a hit. Some uh, politician on the take. Thanks for waiting, Tom. The Don and I had to go over last month's numbers again. Sure. So, what's the job? I want you to help Sam and Polly with the shipment we've got coming in tonight. Good stuff. Straight from Canada. Where do you need me? Sam's gone to meet our friends from the north at the farm outside of town. Paulie will oversee the trucks bringing the shipment into the city, but I want you to go with him. Be an extra pair of eyes. Make sure it all goes smoothly. Okay. Get the car from Ralphie and meet Paulie at the warehouse. He's got heaters in case you run into any trouble. Sure, Frank. No problem. Good. I'm bringing... There is already a case earmarked for the Don. Working late, Ralphie? I says his sleep when Frank sleeps. Man, he's been working us hard. Morello's taking bites out of business everywhere else, Ruff. Booze racket's where we shine. We gotta stay ahead someplace. Ah, uh, well, I, I just f f f fixed the cars that time. I, I changed the p p plates again. You can't be too careful. Let's see you in the morning. Okay. Benders occurring in Oakwood and Chinatown. 
A more serious accident has occurred near the White Harbor Hotel, which is causing traffic to back up on the East Marshall Bridge all the way into downtown. The police department is attending incidents as they can, but they've now issued advice that people should not venture out on the roads unless their journey is strictly necessary. The roads are treacherous, ladies and gentlemen, so however a good driver you may be, it's just not worth the risk to you or anyone else. It would seem the best thing to do on a night like this is to stay at home with your loved ones and keep warm and dry. I know where I'd rather be on a night like this. In addition to the problems we've been hearing of on the roads, air traffic in and out of the city has been suspended by order of the Aviation Authority. All scheduled flights departing Route 7 International have been grounded, and those scheduled to arrive into that airport have been canceled or diverted elsewhere. Now, as bad as that may sound, the latest report from the weather service that I've just been hearing... Reporting serious injury to a patrolling officer by a speeding vehicle. The storm isn't expected to last all that long. Certainly, it doesn't seem like it will be anything like the big one of 1927. High winds are pushing the storm on Central Island, Island so quite we can be lost to keep patrolling. We will, of course, keep you informed with news on the hour. But before I return you to our musical programming, let me reiterate that the Lost Heaven Police Department strongly advises against motor travel at this time. And on a personal note, I advise staying with your family. All cars pursuit is called off, abandoned search and return to patrol. In the warmth of the home. That's all for now. Some music will be along shortly, and I'll be back to check in with you later. Thank you for listening. done a few pickups at the farm before. Don't worry. There ain't nothing but cow shit and shine out here. It's gonna be an easy few clams. Boys will load up the trucks. We'll come straight back. Yeah, let's make it quick. I got some place to be. Ah, uh, you see it sooner or later. Luigi's little girl, your night shift. <laughs> You're something else, pal. Protecting the girl's virginity one day and taking it the next. Lay off, Polly. Ah, oh, come on. I'm just kidding. She's a good girl. You settle down, she'll straighten you right out. You're going home to a couch. <laughs> now, I wonder what kind of stories she could tell about her old man, though. He was a stone cold killer back in the day. I wouldn't know. You know she's been helping out behind the bar since she was a kid. Probably knows more about our business than we do. She knows enough not to ask me too many questions. That's good. She won't ever make a liar out of you. Christ. You ought to marry her just for that. Damn it. Sam should be waiting here, but I don't see him. Something smells off. Don't let your Pekka get all shriveled up. Probably just trying to get out of the rain. Or into the bootleg. 
That'll wake them. He ain't coming. Okay. Let's go find him. That bastard is just three sheets, and I'm wrecking a new suit for nothing. I swear I'm gonna kill Here. Just in case Frank was right. I'm gonna go grab them boys, get them sorted out. You go ahead, see what's what. We'll catch up with you. Check them with the time to find now. Someone's been waiting here tonight. for this. Sorry, pal. Guess we're doing this the hard way. Okay, then. Get over here! I got him pinned down! Move in the cover!
Hey, Tom! Polly! What took you so long? Looking for Sammy. Did you find him? Nah, not yet. Just him. Canadian crew. Dollars to donuts to rest the face down in the dirt, too. Oh, Christ. You're cops, Tommy. Well, how would I know? They didn't show a badge. God, they didn't say anything. It must be in Morello's pocket. This bastard. He can't even let us have this one racket. Forget about it, Tom. We gotta find Sam and get out of here. These guys are the real deal. They gotta be cops from the Border Patrol. Fuck. They've come heavy, all right. Make Lost Heaven PD look like pussy cats. Oh, 
stay here and watch our backs. Plug anyone who gets within 100 yards. Except us. Okay, okay, just hang on. I'll go get the truck, then we'll take you to the doctor. Hey, hey, you're gonna make it, Sam. <laughs> Tommy, mm. stay here with him. I'll be back, I'll be back in a flash. Okay. Hey, hey, it'll be okay, Sam. We survived worse. Sure. Sure we are. Sam. Well, he ain't any worse. I'll go get him. Keep an eye out. Okay. Ah! 
Okay, okay. Hey, we're gonna get y'all patched up. Okay? Polly? We got more company. All right, get in. Okay. I'm right here, Sam. There's some ammo and a Thompson back there somewhere.
Peter. Okay, we're here, Tom. You get Sam out. I'm gonna go wake up the doc. Sam, Sam. We made it. We're at the doctor's house. Paulie, what the hell are you doing here so late? Uh, uh, evening, Doc. Sorry to wake you, but um, we had a little accident. We got an injured man out here. All right, bring him inside. Okay, thank you. Okay, I'll stay with Sam. You can take the truck back. Call it a night. No, I'll wait. The doctor already got his hands full. No sense in both of us breathing down his neck. Go on, Tom. I'm going to be fine. Okay. Hey. You're good tonight. Faith 
and retain faith in the strength of common purpose and in the strength of unified action taken by the American people. The president there speaking earlier this year on the National Recovery Administration. You're late. Dinner's cold. Work. But I came as soon as I got your message. Sit down, Tom. We have a mole, Tom. No. Oh. I was up all night driving myself nuts trying to figure it out. I started thinking maybe it's one of our guys. We aren't paying his fair share. Someone with a light wallet. Maybe looking to Morello for a new suit. Frank wasn't around, so I went to the safe to get the account books. To see who's getting cents on the dollar he's earned. What do you know? The books are gone, Tom. Frank. <sighs> More than 50 years I've known him. Everything I have, I got with Frank. And every buck we've earned, every dime we've paid out, it's all logged in those books. Frank hands those over to the feds, we're finished. Frank respects one person in this whole town, and that's you. This has got to be some kind of misunderstanding. I've been calling him all day. I went by his place. He's gone. His wife and kid are gone. Why? I don't know. I'm sure he has his reasons. Maybe he's still smarting over the dog. But when you tried to drown? Yeah. <sighs> Same one I shot after he wouldn't let me sink her. I was a stupid kid, Tommy. But grudge or no grudge, we gotta get those books back. Shake down all our stories. See who knows what. And when you catch up to Frank, you get those books. And if he doesn't have them on him, you make him tell you where to find them. After that, you do what we gotta do.
Vincenzo's waiting for you with a clean car. We gotta today, keep Tom. a lid on this, Tom. Start with Biff, but don't give him nothing. I got your clean set of wheels. And something special here, if you want it. When Frank sees a Lepara, he'll know. The old ways work. I didn't see this coming out from Frank. Today, continuing its search for the remains of those brave souls lost aboard the airship USS Akron. The Akron was destroyed in a violent thunderstorm off the New Jersey coast Tuesday morning with the loss of 73 of 76 aboard. The disaster stands as the worst aviation accident.